Yeah. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Going live. All right, you big booty bitches. I didn't know how to start. I just wanted to alliterate a little bit. What's going on, guys? How we doing? How we feeling today? Who we got in the chat so far? Let's see. We got Mr. James Chalikas. How you doing, man? By the way, is that actually how you pronounce it? I've never known if that's the actual right way of saying it. I've just been rolling with it this whole time. Jaw, what's going on? Death Magnet DSA, what's up, man? What's happening? Alex Huchwajda, hello, man. Black Rival, hello, hello. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. Sub bit. No. <laughs> Sub motherfuckers. <laughs> This over so I can <laughs> get a little better of you, you know. Then, what up, everybody? Hey, what's going on? Man? Hope y'all are doing well, living life, eating good, playing airsoft. Hello, there you go. There you go. Yeah, do us a favor, y'all. Make sure to go and share this around with as many people as possible. Gangsters, what's up? Oob, my man, how we doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. How are you doing, dude? Oob, hunt a 3,000. Uh, remember from uh, remember from Dragon Ball? Yeah, yeah, boo the backwards, yeah, the well, Indian kid. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I look like. <laughs> Especially when I when I trim up the sides and I get the hawk going, if I let the bangs go, he's like, dude. And they show, it was either that or what was it? Uh, Supreme East Kai. I forget which which Kai. Was. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some actually recently I got Zamasu from Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> that's the other Supreme. That's a Supreme Kai from somewhere else, isn't it? Yeah, it's the inventions and shit. I'm not even gonna get into the Dragon Ball Super was confusing. That's hilarious. But I Brewer hope doing well. Brewer, what's going on? Chemo, what's happening, dog? Cutter, good to see you as well. Again, great, great to see everyone. Good to see all the regulars showing up. Guys, again, this is just a little a little pre-live stream, live stream, what's going on? DJ, did you check your DMs? I messaged you. A little surprise for you as well. Just a, just gave you a little something, something to look forward to as well. I got you taken care of, dog. Boss man and I got you taken care of. That's what's up. I hope you guys are doing well. It is Thursday. You know what that means, baby? The shopping spree giveaway is going down tonight. That's right. And there's a guaranteed winner tonight. Isn't that correct? A guaranteed winner, meaning someone is walking home with the $1,100 prize pot all for themselves. Someone is going to be taking home that prize pot for themselves, guaranteed. And how is it going to work? Again, ordinarily, right, we'll give the winner 10 minutes to go in and claim their prize. However, if they're not there, we'd end up stacking it and holding on for the next week. However, $1,100 tonight, if the winner's not there, that's too bad. We're rolling again. We're, we're going to keep doing it until we find someone to give that $1,100 pr uh, prize pot to. And it's going to be someone that's actually watching the live stream. We're not going to reward someone who's not actually supporting GI all the way. So make sure you're watching tonight's live stream. It's going to be starting at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You get those entries in. I'm going to give you guys a little, little bonus right now. You guys see it right now on the overlay. Every $50 you spend gets you five entries into tonight's shopping stream giveaway. Fifty for, Five for 50. So don't miss out. Get $50. That's five. $100. Five that's 10 Fifty. How come it took us this long to coin that? I don't know, man. We've been doing five for fifty is a slogan. <laughs> that's that. That's that. Uh, that's that. Uh, four. That's that, what. Is, what do they call it from? Uh, from Wendy's. The the or no, it's Taco Bell. The five dollar uh, fill them up box. I thought you were about to say five dollar foot longs. Cause that's <laughs> yeah, that's another one. <laughs> Just another marketing uh, freaking uh, 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 coin term or something. I want to have that as a hoodie now. Five for 50, and then it has the GI logo in the 50. back. <laughs> if you know, you know. Uh, Cutter, I DM'd that MGC4 Mark II. What do you think? Hey, honestly, I did see the video. Freaking solid. solid. I know Cisco's looking it up right now. He's looking it up right now. He DM'd it on IG? Uh, I think I know he DM'd me for sure. I don't know if he DM'd the GI account. I don't think he did. I think you DM'd me specifically. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah, uh, Richard De La Haye was happening. Congrats on winning. Yeah, man, absolutely, absolutely. Fix, <laughs> that's your new nickname, man. Fixco. Fixco. Oh yeah, I saw that from DJ. <laughs> uh, and uh, Brewer, I miss, I miss you too. I miss all you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been busy, but you know, I'll be here. I'll be still around. You know. Um, you know, we got the shopping spree giveaway going on. I just want to. Uh, I was at G&G &G with Boaz earlier today. We got to go to the showroom, and we got to see some of the exclusive little goodies. And I just want to show a picture on Skype. I, oh, I can pull it up on Skype here. I can pull oh, it up actually, on Skype yeah, and drag it up. up. Yeah, it look pull, a lot better. That That's picture. what I've been doing this whole time. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Because, uh, <laughs> because we got to see a couple of the new goodies. If you guys haven't been paying attention to G&G, &G, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pull up the pull up the shoddy. Yeah. Pull up the shoddy. Pull up that there bad boy right there. Look there at this. Oh, yeah. damn. Cool. Let me tell you, it's fun, dude. Yeah? It's fun. Have you, okay, how 
how does this compare? Because I, I don't know if it's the same. Was this the same as the Airsoft Innovations shotgun? No, so it is completely different. Okay, good. That's what I heard. I just yeah, wanted yeah. to make sure. Yeah, so it is different from, from the, the AI um, FLAC 10. Uh, this one is a different uh, system. Super gas efficient. If you look down here on the uh, the bottom, so this so so this whole portion, I didn't it didn't work. What? It's fine. Uh, this whole portion here is the gas reservoir. It's got a lot of gas like capacity, so it's safe. T uh, five shot and ten shot. Damn. Oh, dude, Damn. dude, it's. Uh, the the way that uh, Ryan at, at GNG explained it, it's like you know they're safe. There's shoot you, shoot everyone. <laughs> this is oh I, I you know I'm doing my enemy. I'm gonna shoot you, and then I remember you stole my bonicle in sixth grade. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So here here's here's the kicker. Here is the kicker. So we got a lot of info. I'll, I'll dive into it a little bit deeper. Um, so it's gonna be shooting uh, sub 350. Okay. Uh, it takes AEG M4 Max. Yeah. With actual magazine release, it's it's ambidextrous magazine release, uh, so it's not like uh, the Flag Ten where it's uh, friction. Yeah, yeah. But uh, retail is gonna be like three sixty to three eighty. Is it polymer or metal body? Uh, both. Okay, okay, that's fine. I mean, cause, uh, honestly, I thought okay, G and G, new shoddy, yeah. and for, I was like, it's gonna be like four something close to five. And you said the fact you said three, it's like even though it's a little bit pricey, it's not too bad. No, compare. Compared to the the other one that that was available for a period of time, that one was like five six hundred bucks, uh. right? This is so much more doable. It's crazy, and uh, we were testing the efficiency. Um, it was like like sixty something degrees in the warehouse. We got there like six seven mags on one fill. Jeez, dude, that's impressive. And it was cold, so that that boy is absolutely. In freaking sane. Uh, stay tuned for this, uh, just to show off another picture. Uh, of course, the the TR eighty um, got to shoot and mess around with that. I know that's been on the website for a minute, but um, more details about it. It is using the the G three gearbox. If that hasn't been talked about, so it is the split gearbox system uh, with their ETU, and the one that's in picture here. Uh, uh, was upgraded by Ryan. He threw in a, a 140 spring, and that boy sounds amazing. Yeah, it's shooting. It's shooting like almost 500 fps, and sounds great. That the G3 gearbox, I think, has been slept on. Uh, I'm a firm believer in it now. It's crazy. Even though the ETU is proprietary, uh, it's only like a handful of parts in the gearbox. But those are parts you honestly don't even need to switch out. The gear set, the piston, the piston head, uh, the nozzle. Uh, it's all it's all uh, version two spec. Like it's it's super freaking dope. It's it's actually like. All right, guys. Before we continue divulging more about uh, what we found, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, in, in at G and G's warehouse, guys, just want to remind you again: shopping spree giveaway going down tonight. Literally tonight, I'm gonna be hosting tonight's live stream. So make sure you guys are there or be square. Literally, or better yet, you just don't win. Right? Eleven $1 hundred dollars are literally on the line, which anyone can claim. It literally can go to anyone as long as you place a twenty dollar or greater order. I'm gonna go ahead and link the rules again in this live chat for you guys to take a look at. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Again, someone is walking home with it, guaranteed. Only the person that is actually watching, if we, when we call the name, right? If you're not watching the live stream, that's it. You don't get the prize. You can't claim shit. So you need to make sure that you are actually watching. It's true, though. It's true, right? Again, it's a big amount. It's a big prize. You can do a lot of damage with $1,100. So make sure you place your orders. And again, just want to go ahead and give everyone a little reminder that if you want to increase your odds of winning, right, make sure to go ahead and take advantage of the promo right next to me, right? Every 50 you spend, we'll be getting you five entries. And you can also order yourself a 2024 Platinum Hot Releases Mystery Box with literally loaded with the best releases of this year thus far, right? And the grand prize being two MGC4 Mark I combos decked out with all the accessories you need, M3 gas launcher, new LCTs with the pre-installed uh, Gate Aster, we're talking the new uh, uh, freaking Storm PC1s, right? The new Fab Arms gas shotguns, the Echo 1 PMG5 minigun, and so much more. So make sure you order yours now while you can. All right, going back to uh, what you discovered or what you were uh, uh, showing off at G&G. Yeah, yeah, so uh, there was uh, some of the things. Uh, we have a full video going, going to be going live on the channel. Uh, <laughs> 
so make sure you guys subscribe stay tuned for that um, where we go a little bit more in depth uh, unfortunately uh, a number of things are still on the way over uh, because they had Iwa uh, not too long ago um, so we were missing out on a few things but we did get some uh, super dope details and just in the main video that's going to come out probably next week uh, there's a little bit of a uh, there's actually a couple of spoilers in there Spoil it. no we Spoil it. Spoil it. Do it. I can't say it the, the legal purposes for that one I can't I can't say it I can't say it and I didn't but this is for my boy Ryan okay, okay I'm, I'm look I'm looking out for my boy I'm looking out for my boy but if you pay close attention in the video you might see something floating on the gun wall oh it's dope it's so fucking dope it's so okay, you, you it. don't I understand my ear. I promise I won't say it <laughs> it's so the dude it's clean yeah it is i i we, we weren't allowed to take pictures oh, or anything y'all are gonna be so hyped when you freaking see it uh, like oh uh, dude it's <laughs> fucking <coughs> crazy it's absolutely insane like that uh i can't I want yeah, to. Okay, I good. really yeah. want to tell you, but I I really can't. I can't. I can't do that to my boy. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna <laughs> divulge into it. Okay, what else can we sh can we show off out of all the things that we've you've seen? Because you did send us some photos and stuff. Yeah. So uh, as you guys see, there's uh, pictures on screen. So there's actually a gun that we that's been out for a little bit since last year. Um, that's been slept on. This is the uh, SGR five five six. So this is using the. Uh, the the G3 gearbox as well, um, same as the uh, the TR80, and man, the quality, the build quality, the performance out of the box, the consistency, like all of it, it retails for normal like 480. Actually, I think it's on the website. Could you could you look it up? Um, it's it's around 480 What's bucks. Uh, SGR 556. Uh. I gotta say, oh, it's oh, it's even cheaper. Oh, goddamn! Shit, deal. But I'll, just so you guys know, discounts are ending tonight. Yeah, that that ends tonight. I'd say get it. This outperforms a lot of high end guns, guys. I can't even front about it. Like, like, at, especially at four, oh, f the four forty running up. It's it's like like compared to VFC KWA. I think this one takes a cake. Even Boaz is like, man, I'm questioning KWA now. That's how good it is. It's crazy. It's got, man's got him questioning his loyalty to KWA. Yeah, it's it's absolutely dope. I, I mean, plus if you get it right now, you'll get what forty entries, right? Forty entries into. Yes. Okay, I, I thought I was dumb. <laughs> you did. You know, actually. Uh, 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 actually, did you graduate the third grade? Actually, yeah, he did. <laughs> Yeah, so it it's dope. It is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, split gearbox design. Oh, this is the coolest part about the G3 gearbox. Okay, okay. Uh, so you know how some airsoft guns have mechanical cutoff features, yes. right? We think it's dope. Do you think? Yes, absolutely. 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 Guys, what do you think about mechanical cutoff features? The real is a factor. Dope, right? So you know how mechanical cutoff features need a special magazine to activate the cutoff. Are you telling me this one like doesn't need it and it'll just do it automatically? Dog. So, the way that this works is in the uh, compression half of the gearbox, yeah. there's a laser sensor that will detect if there's no BB in the chamber. And uh, if there's no BB in the chamber, it'll automatically cut off with whatever magazine that you use. Once it's done, once it's done, it's empty. It'll cut off. You insert a brand new magazine, activate the bolt catch, and it'll start firing again. Doesn't need a proprietary magazine. That's freaking hot. My <laughs> concern. That's freaking hot. But it's my so concern. Dope. My concern though is that laser. What if something like again? Because I'm assuming it's like you know with optical sensors. Oh. You know when you put like in MOSFETs, right? How sometimes if you get like just a little bit of dirt, or if a little bit of light gets in, it kind of mess with it. Can, is, do you think that would, it's pretty safe, like tucked away? Like it's that's that's actually a very good question. So the way that the gearbox is designed, the hop-up unit is attached to the front of the 
of the upper half of the gearbox. It's completely sealed off. The only way dirt can get in is going to be through the front of the barrel or through the hop-up unit itself. But it's completely contained, and Ryan has been using one for a hot minute now. And he went to American Milsim. He's gone casual play. He's, he's put it through the ringer. And he's even taking it apart um, and upgraded things, changed things out, and uh, he's had no issues with it. Dude, hell yeah. On top of that, on top of that, on top of that. Uh, you get the you remember the remote that you got from the Type seven, 64? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the Type sixty four. Uh, TR eighty, I know, has one. Yeah, so it has the same remote. Okay. So you can program it to semi auto only, um, uh, five round burst, three round burst, full auto. You can program pre cocking. You can program the trigger sensitivity as well. So it like the and and the remote is specific to your airsoft gun. Um, the way that they designed it is actually really intuitive for like fields and stuff, especially if they have special regulations. Um, they have um, special controllers that they're only going to sell or are only going to be available to fields. So if, um, especially if they want to use them as like high-end rentals or whatever, they can program them on the fly right quick um, and lock it so a player couldn't change it. Uh, so it just meets the field regulations, keeps everyone safe. Uh, yeah, but say vice versa for you. You're going to have your own individualized remote. It's going to work for your gun and your gun alone. No one else is going to be – if someone else has the same gun with a remote, yeah, you're not going to be able to dick around with each other. That was, that was <laughs> the running joke that we had for the Type 64 when I did that review. Is like, can you imagine if someone else, right, like had the same gun? What if they found a way to program, like through their controller, program your gun? Be like, I don't like this guy. Safe all the time. <laughs> Loser. No, yeah, you could you could program it. It's super fucking cool. Uh, the ETU, he's done extensive testing on it as well. Um, uh, he's gonna work on getting us one so we can uh, test it out and do our reviews on, and stuff about it as well. Um, super cool. And uh, their hop up unit is actually uh, it's proprietary to the gun, but it takes TM cut barrels. Uh, it works through uh, the front of the gun, so I don't know if, uh, how good these pictures are. But it's slightly recessed, and the gas block is actually the hop-up uh, adjustment. Oh, okay, cool. So you can literally take, like, a flat head and just, yeah, sl- like, torque it. Uh, each click, I forget how many, like it's, like, point-something millimeters of, of adjustment, but it's really, you're able to really fine-tune your hop-up unit. So, you know, like, some hop-up units, like, this one's a bad example because this one doesn't have, like, a preset number. Yeah, yeah. But you know, like, how the Crytek has like a preset number yeah, yeah, yeah. like it allows you to get in between like really fine tune hell even the PMG5 has that yeah 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 so um again it just it just there was a lot of thought put into uh this gun a lot of R&D a lot of tech and I gotta say man you know I mean if you guys didn't know I, lo- I love uh G&G uh, look, go watch my first tactical gears, but this one right here, I think I'm gonna hop back on the train. That's crazy. Getting back on that G and G hype train. I mean, I mean, you gotta rebuild your collection, but I mean, it is a little bit pricey. But yeah. from what you're saying, all the features yeah. you're saying that comes included with it, yeah. it does seem worth it. And, and it's like I don't want to shit talk, but you know, like there, there's every high end airsoft gun has its own caveat, right? Yeah. Like KWA is expensive. Uh, it performs great, but it's super heavy. Uh, VFC, like they're build quality externally is beautiful but like their tap and play and their piston are are terrible this right here has the most updated internals like full metal rack piston uh double o-ring air nozzle and uh, cylinder head like everything's done to it to the nines trigger response is absolutely insane rate of fire is healthy i wouldn't say it's like like oh my god it's like 30 30 runs a second but it, it is healthy and for what you get Comparing it to those other high-end guns, this right here is crazy. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we got to go in and see this as well. Now, there are a few questions asking about one particular gun. Can we show – do we do we have pictures of that bad boy? What, what bad boy? You know, the – you know the 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 the, the thing. Are you, are, you, are you rocking a baby? Right yes, now? yes, yes. I'm. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The the lever action. Okay, people have been asking about that one like up the wazoo. Were we able? To get a little something, something about it. You know, maybe a few pictures, maybe a video. So, unfortunately, no! it's it's uh, it's um, still on the way here. There's only one, one 
functioning yeah like period and they had it at at uh iwa and it's still on the way here uh, actually if you want to pull up a picture of it if you can um yeah just a google search of it because i have info about this as well um ryan over at gng uh is was super dope he was uh i thought that said lewd ar i was like what the fuck what did i look up uh, yeah that threw me through a loop okay yeah so just pull up that picture right there so i do have information about it which is uh super freaking cool um can that get blown up more Oh God, the oh, cesspool okay. that's Reddit. No, just click on the picture. It should it should blow it up? As soon as this internet loads. Yeah, right. There, there it is. Okay, so uh, I'll start from the rear uh, to the front. So on the rear, the <laughs> the stock itself can be removed. Okay. So and it's a Picatinny stock there, so you could put whatever. Like SIG, uh, like folding stock, whatever. Knowing Buzz is gonna put an MCX stock on that. Yeah, absolutely. You could do you. You could swap that out, or you could run it like uh, broom handle style. Okay. Um, gas powered. Okay. Yes. Uh, gas obviously carried in the pistol grip. Um, AEG magazines, M4 AEG magazines. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So M4 AEG magazines, and the. Upper receiver group, including the hop-up unit, the inner barrel, the bucking. It's the regular AR upper. It's the 100% G&G AEG spec upper receiver. Oh, my goodness. Now, they showed me pictures of them dicking around at Ewa. I can imagine someone put, came up with some real cursed shit about this. Like, uh, Honestly? It looked, would look cool. So they threw uh, like the 7-inch upper on it and removed that, and it looked like the the saddle gun like the horse saddle yeah gun. that's that, kind of hot that shit was dope they also did one where uh they threw on the uh, far the folding upper receiver mm-hmm. and they they compacted that and oh, oh is it blocking the picture yeah okay we'll, we'll we'll fix that we'll fix that right now let's see oh, sorry okay yeah, yeah we'll, we'll oh 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 that's why scrolling down there yeah. we go okay, maybe a little more maybe a little more uh, and then move it over to the right or left yeah. I'm sorry yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. sorry about that. There you go. There you go. Sorry, y'all. There you go. There you go. So yeah, um, yeah. This uh, just to reiterate, uh, stock is removable. Picatinny um, uh, mount there for whatever uh, thing you want to do. AEG magazines, um, and uh, the AEG spec upper receiver group, including the hop up unit, um, barrel assembly, all of that. So you can upgrade that with whatever the hell you want. And they were showing me, like, different things. Again, the folding uh, upper receiver was super hot. Like, he had it tucked into his jacket. And he was like, oh, yeah, you want to fuck on me? <laughs> like, yo, this, this, I I was, I told him, I was like, hey, bro, I'm really upset. But you going to send us the first one, right? He was like, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. So, so when they come in, at least this sample model, when, when we get the sample model in, um, we will be uh, one of the first to to get it in and get coverage and go in deeper uh, detail with you guys. But um, I did. It's funny. He Ryan's a fucking clown. He, he I was like, what's what's the what's the estimated price? He was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be anywhere from like a hundred to a thousand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. What I was like, he did. Excuse me. Say like, what? <laughs> One more time, please. I don't think I heard you. I don't think I heard you right. Did you say a hundred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, anywhere from a hundred to a thousand dollars. But they are projecting that it should be here uh, before Christmas. So that's it's uh, like the majority of the year. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it's we're getting into the second quarter. Oh, I did forget to mention that the um, where, where is the picture? The shotgun is actually gonna be here around May to June. Okay, so not too long, not too far off for that one. Yeah, so there's that. Anybody that got the uh, MG, uh, is it MGCR? Yeah, uh, MGCR gas. Yeah, the MGCR gas blowback uh, mags are available. They 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 finally got them in. They should be up on the website. Um, so anybody that got one, you guys just um, go ahead and pick them up because you know they're freaking dope. Um, uh, the pistols. So we there were. They unfortunately didn't have those pistols either, either. Uh, but there are. They have two different versions of it. 
that are going to be CNC aluminum sliding frame, and then there's going to be another version. There's like the pro version, and then like the regular version. Regular version is going to have a polymer, um, uh, polymer slide, which the their their other high cappers and stuff already have polymer slides, but uh, optics ready. I know that's the thing. Like I'm, I'm glad that we're seeing this trend. Oh, actually, you got to see it earlier too. The new uh, Ed Brown 1911 mm-hmm. from uh, PTS. Uh, that if you guys haven't seen that one. That one should be available right now. Just for you can just pick it up right now. We have them available literally in store. Ed Brown. I'm just like I, I know Boz is happy about this. We are seeing the modernization now of many different uh, airsoft pistols. Well, yeah, yeah, right there. Look at that bad boy. Looking good, right? The Zev, Ed Brown. Like, so many uh, pistols now that are coming out that are optics ready, which is a really, really good thing. I think I think it's definitely something that a lot of people have been asking for, right? I think there definitely is still a surplus of, like, you know, your regular 1911s, high kappas, and other other models as well. But I'm glad that we are seeing more and more stuff that is ready to take an optic right from the get-go. Because, hey, you know what? We actually do have quite a bit of, like, pistol optics, like, on the side, like, ready to go. Oh, yeah. No, th- I'm so glad... I mean, it, it, of course, it's going to take some time. When something hits the market fast and hard, uh, pause. <laughs> it, it's uh, it takes time for like, especially on the the real firearm side. It takes time for the airsoft side to catch up, yeah. and we finally caught up. So that's super dope. Glad to see it. Actually, another thing, too, that I wanted to go and bring up. Actually, before I even do that, guys, remember, tonight is going to be the shopping spree giveaway. The live stream is starting at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same great place. Again, same YouTube channel. Make sure you're there. You're watching. You get your orders in now while you can. We're running a little, the promo a little early, right? Every 50 you spend, we'll be getting you five. 50, getting you five. So don't miss out. Place your orders. You get $50. Spend $50 right now. You get five entries. Get up to $100. That's 10 150 that's going to be 15 so on and so forth. Every 50, getting you five, so on and so forth. You guys get the idea. Order yourself a 2024 Platinum Hot Releases Mystery Box for the best banging 2024 releases. Literally, that's why it's called that. The best releases of 2024 so far in this mystery box, which you can win for literally just $179, and you get 15 entries. 15 chances of claiming $1,100 all for yourself, and it's a guaranteed winner tonight, meaning someone and I mean someone is taking home that prize pot. We will randomize it and roll and raffle it off as many times as we have to until we get a winner who is actually watching the stream. So do yourself a favor, get your orders in, and make sure you're watching the damn stream. But yeah, so there's that, right? There's this pistol, right? We're seeing a lot more of these pistols be- uh, becoming readily available. But another thing, too, that we're starting to notice that we actually kind of did a short about it yesterday. It was called, uh, Which PP is the Best? Yes, I was in charge of that one. So, <laughs> I bet you were. I bet you were. So, we have now a plethora of different PPs that are available uh, on Airsoft GI. Mm-hmm. We have, originally, you know, we had the Octurus, right? They had the limited edition PE models. The Octurus uh, PPK20, right? That one was one of the earlier ones. The LCT had one as well. Yep. LCT had one as well. Uh, but now LCT is back making them their same version, but with the pre-installed uh, Gate Aster. And now, I don't know if you've been uh, seeing the new p- products page on the site, but uh, we just got some new stuff on there as well. Let's see here, just as soon as it loads. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Lancer Tactical PPK-20. But I'm not going to lie, this does look a little similar to the Atlas Custom Works one. So now we have a big plethora. Now the big plan is for us to do one big PP video where we have <laughs> – I'm s- I, you give me, okay even even for me someone who is as ignorant as I am with dirty jokes this is too obvious for me man it's too obvious like the big one staring you right in the face pause anyway so whoa there whoa there bucko uh, you hold your horses there buddy <laughs> wait a minute so okay what is your opinions on all these peepees now so uh actually I, I I am glad to see it. Honestly, guys, let's be real. Uh the Atlas Custom Works is probably the same OEM as the Lancer Tactical one, or vice versa. Lancer Tactical is probably the same OEM as the Lancer, as the Atlas Custom Works one. Um and then yeah, uh L C T had theirs for a minute and then Arcturus came out with theirs, which is I believe Arcturus is is like one to one spec receiver wise with the real uh uh Vityaz. Um the LCT one is just using a AK receiver because uh, they didn't want to put the work in to make uh, a short stroke gearbox, you know, because Arcturus, you know, just decided to do that. <laughs> but um, honestly, testing the Atlas Custom Works one, if the Lancer Dactyl one is exactly the same, uh, for like 219 bucks is actually crazy. Yeah. It's It has an ETU. Um, we ran a level one through it. And it shot pretty good. It's for whatever for whatever reason that like 
that as custom works, and of course, by extension, the Lancer Attached one, they shoot fast, man. They got a really good rate of fire. Yeah. Like, it's impressive how good they are right off, right from the get-go. I can see why they did sell out of the Atlas Custom Works one. That one moved so quick, we didn't even get to do a video on it. <laughs> I was so mad. Well, thank God. I actually placed a, a, a restock uh, today, and both of them, both colorways, the gray and the tent, are actually in I just got confirmation they just arrived. So Duh. that's the next plan is the next main video. We got to do a, which PP is the best? Uh, comparis comparing everyone's PP. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, off the top of my head, um, I mean, I think each model has their own area to shine. Uh, the Atlas Custom Works, and I'm just going to lump in the Lancer Tactical one again, they do look very similar, so I'm going to assume they're the same OEM. Um, I think best bang for your buck. Yeah. Best bang for your buck. Like, it's affordable, it shoots great out of the box. I think. That's a no-brainer. Uh, LCT, it's pretty expensive. Um, but they are updating the internals. That's the kind of thing. And oh, with oh yeah, they they did come out with the version that has the uh, the gate. Uh, yeah, they have the Gate Aster now, and but again, with LCT, you've always gone with them when you wanted something that was going to be one to one. Yep. That was going to be like the build quality was going to be like phenomenal. That was going to be like what you saw at most Milson West games for any sort of like Rust Four like uh, kits or militia. Whenever they had like any sort of Eastern block gun, nine times out of ten, it was usually going to be an LCT. You would get the occasional ENL as well, but most of the time it was going to be like an LCT because they just they look the best and they feel the best. No, I get that. Uh, th that's what I was going to say. For LCT, you know the external build quality is going to be phenomenal. Now, with uh, the introduction of the the gate Aster, it does increase the performance a good amount. 445, <clears throat> uh, pretty decent. Uh, for, again, for the level of quality that you're getting out of the airsoft gun. Without the gate Aster, I believe the, the exact same model is like 50 bucks is cheaper. Compared to the Arcturus? No, no, compared to the LCT. Oh. I'd have to double check to see exactly what that price was. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Yeah, I think it yeah. might be a little bit. Yeah, it might be. It sounds about right. It's not too much. It's not like you're still looking at about four hundred dollars for an LCT. Oh, yeah. But um, the Arcturus one, they did a balance of external quality and crazy performance out of the box. Especially if we're talking about the limited edition model, because they had the thirteen one gear set. They had their their uh, Neo Mag motor in there. Uh, plus the, uh, the those had Peruns, or did those have gates? The uh, which ones? The limited edition Arcturus ones. Yeah, those had uh, the Perrin MOSFET, and everybody that got one, everyone that saw, saw any of our videos, y'all know that those things rip. Those things trigger spots, rid fire is dumb. But if we're talking about the limited edition one specifically, what is it like six hundred bucks? Uh, I can find out right now. I can find out right now. Yeah, uh, it it is. A little pricey, but again, you are still getting the quality. Okay, yeah, so five hundred bucks. Um, yeah, with the with the Paramount. Okay, oh, yeah, if we're gonna go the PP twenty, oh, it's it uh, like f so about the same price as the. Uh, a little bit more expensive, but not by a whole lot. Yeah, but I will say, comparing the Arcturus <laughs> limited edition uh, PPK twenty versus the LCT one, I do think the Arcturus just does outperform it has a better quality barrel um the the high speed gear set the better motor uh mosfets are going to be about the same here's here's what i would say and here's what in terms of its externals right and this is where tank speaking i will give the win to lct i like that arcturus actually has uh their dust covers on a hinge so you don't have to worry about having to like remove the whole thing, right? LCTs oh, yeah. are still using the traditional like you know you got to take the body pin out to want to uh, remove the dust cover however I will say this. Uh, the LCT, I trust that the external build quality overall more than I would the Arcturus because for a lot of some people that actually got their Arcturuses, uh, the very first the very first batch of the uh, limited editions, the stock, the stocks on all the PP models, a lot of them would end up getting stuck in one position, right? Oh, yeah. That was kind of a thing that I was like, ah, oh, they didn't really, I don't know if it was just like it was too overly engineered or what happened there when they, uh, when they created the folding uh, stock uh, function. It just, it would just get stuck. Like, it would literally get stuck, and we actually had to have uh, the guys from Octurus tell us, like, yeah, you got to be very gentle with it because if you're a little too rough, it will break, right? And that was like, I don't get that problem at all with an LCT, like, ever. Is it tight sometimes? Yes. Uh, actually, I have encountered that one time with LCT um, where uh, it was with – it had the Zeneco 
style oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that um, because you know how you have to you have to lift it and uh, the, or like there's a button on the inside for the LCT that you push and yeah. then you rotate. People didn't know about the button, so they would force it close and then it would it would crack the hinge. Uh, that that's user error for the Arcturus one. Yeah, I mean sometimes it happens, right? Yeah, it, it, there's nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, the gun still performs great, and I do love the fact that, again, AKs that have a hinge for their dust cover, that's like chef's kiss. I don't have to worry about it, right? And they do a pretty good job of actually drilling out uh, enough of a cavity for you to put in uh, your 11.1 LiPo in there, right? Very nice. I always appreciate when a company does that. And I wish LCT would. Maybe the next version they'll be able to do it, uh, catch up on that. But overall build quality, I am going to give the win to LCT. But, again, you are getting... A few more like extra bells and whistles, honestly, with the archer. So it's up to you, whichever you realistically you decide to go with. I Both think, are a good deal. I think you're just gonna have to wait for the full PP video. <laughs> <laughs> if you want our full opinions on what these, uh, on all these PPs, if uh, you want Isaiah's full PP. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. What did he say? Okay. So I do think you got to uh, take care of a couple things, yeah, right? I'm going to take care of a few things. I'm going to leave uh, all you lovely viewers in the hands of uh, Cisco right now. Again, I will be seeing you guys tonight for the shopping spree giveaway live stream. So make sure uh, – don't be showing your pee-pee right now. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't I'll, know I don't know what you're doing. I was doing the fat man tug. Okay. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is he oh, doing? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. What the fuck? You ever seen an elephant? Oh my god! <laughs> I'll just play with you guys. But guys, uh, before we continue, make sure you enter the shopping spree giveaway. Every twenty dollar order will get you entered. That's twenty dollars toward whatever you want. Okay, whatever you want at airsoftjr.com. We have thousands of uh, products discounted right now. Here, let me. I'll pull that up really quick. Go to the sales page. Close out all these unused tabs really quick so it can increase my bandwidth but there's over six thousand items discounted absolutely insane and guys a lot of these discounts are ending tonight literally within uh seven hours so you guys can hop on it during the duration of this stream though during the duration of this stream every fifty dollars you spend will get you five chances to win five five for fifty okay Every $50, that, that, that stacks. So let's say you buy the uh, SGR-12 uh, from Tokyo Marui. That's uh, on sale right now for, damn, almost 70 bucks off. $600, that's 60 entries. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to need y'all to take advantage of it. You can pick up the uh, Hot Releases Mystery Box right now. This one is available, $179.99. Every prize in there is super dope and brand new, literally brand new uh we went over it a little bit earlier but you can win the elite force m3 Moz. my goodness the pc storm uh pneumatic sniper rifle the new lct uh uh guns with the gate aster the ksg uh strack we all know what that is uh the gng tr80 which i talked about a little bit earlier uh the new uh mgc4s in the different colorways some of my favorite ones the new pmg5 so many, so many new airsoft guns. Even the the gas shotguns from Fab Arms, crazy. You can win them all, uh, and get fifteen chances to win. And again, it's a it's an eleven hundred dollar prize pot, one thousand one hundred dollars, and there's gonna be a winner tonight, guaranteed, guaranteed. Okay, so if you if you enter right now, and you're there tonight, and your name gets called. You're going to win. But if you're not there or you don't have an entry, you're going to miss out. Okay. If, if, if a name is called and they aren't there within the time frame to claim the prize, they're going to lose it and we're going to pull another name. That's how it goes, baby. Absolutely crazy. Lancer, what? This isn't a Lancer. Yes. This. I pulled that out of the P20. I'm keeping these. <laughs> this is hilarious. I, I can't, I don't know. I don't think I can show this. Yeah, you can show it. They're close. <laughs> Look at this. This is hilarious. Lancer tactical stickers. Someone someone of culture is there. <laughs> is working there. I'm dead as I'm keeping these. Okay. <laughs> but um yeah, guys, make sure you enter the shopping spree giveaway right now. You don't want to miss out uh, on your chances to win. Uh, and get the best discounts in airsoft, okay? And if you guys have any questions, please put a cue in front of it. I'm going to try and go through the, the chat right now uh, and answer some of your guys' questions that uh, 
that we missed while we were just uh, yabbering on. So I greatly appreciate that all you guys are here. And make sure you tell all your friends and, and teammates and anybody that you know that wants to get into Airsoft to join the live stream. Okay, Tell them to get their chances to win. I'm just saying, if they win because of you, they win because of you, I think you get half. I think that's only fair. I think that is only fair. <clears throat> and guess what? It's about that time. Uh, bing, bing, bong, bing, uh, bing, bing, bong, bing. Someone's about to get upgraded in the chat. Hello. <laughs> okay, now let me see through the um through the uh, questions. Richard said, "What's your thoughts on the new VFC improved FAL at Ewa?" You know, I from the videos, it looks good. It sounds good, but until we get it in our hands, uh, which is probably unlikely because it's uh. Uh, well, actually, I don't. I don't think the FAL has any strict licensing. Maybe. Who knows? It might need to get cleared. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, let's see. What other questions? Did you get to try the uh, the uh, lever uh, at all, Cisco? No, I didn't. Uh, Cutter, my boy. I wish I did, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to. Uh, it's still on the way, but again, once Gingy gets it in, we will be the first to grab it so you'll get all the media and all the info uh that we could possibly get out of that man boy that bad boy uh richard i believe you're asking the nozzle type for the the lever the the lev ar uh i'm not too sure either that that one i'm not too sure that has a proprietary gas system i don't know what the nozzle is but we will get that information as soon as possible but again it is going to be compatible with uh the gng uh a hop up unit and their their complete upper receiver system. So yeah, it, it all depends. I don't I don't think it's the yeah. I can't I can't say uh, anything further. Um Death Maggot DSS uh when are the black EPM1 mags coming back in stock? Uh that's a very good question. Uh I do believe we placed a restock and they should be coming in soon. Just keep uh, your eye out for it. Actually, when you're on the page for it, uh, underneath the out of stock button, you can uh, hit the notify me button and um, you can get an email sent to you when it does come back in stock. So, you know, you can have it and then use some of our coupon codes to get a good discount. PTS didn't hear that. <laughs> Let's see what other questions I might have missed. Uh, Dark trees again, I bring my PP for comparison. <laughs> you're a clown. Uh, let's see, let's see what else. Um, uh, Jaws asking Cisco. I asked Isaiah this yesterday, but what do you think about me changing the Q10 rail on, to M lock to make it lighter? Oh, I agree with you. Let me tell you something. Uh, when the Q10 and the M10 were released, super dope. Both bring back the electric cutoff feature. I asked KWA, why didn't you release both models in both? variants so have a q10 uh that has the quad rail and the m-lock rail and have the m10 for the quad and m-lock rail i didn't get a reply so if you want to change it out that it is a quad rail it is quite hefty it, it it's about as heavy as like like a like a dd mark 18 rail so um if you change that out for an m-lock rail depending on the m-lock rail uh it could reduce a significant amount of weight but even if it's like a cheaper well honestly they, we have a lot of unlock rails that are like super cheap that are still lightweight that are like aluminum but go for it i mean if if it makes it more functional for you more comfortable for you to use and keeps you in the game longer i think it's justified for you so hop on that do that my boy that fool he said what sick anime shows does sick that does cisco recommend uh very off topic but um what have i been watching recently Man, I can't even think of what I've been watching recently. Um, I did. I've been lacking on it, but I caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen. Goaded. Um, I did. I watched it to the end of the season, bro. Justin's over here, motherfucker. <laughs> you clown. Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean, that's mainstream, though. Um, uh, one that's... Uh, that's the isekai style uh Ari Frueta uh, from Common Place to World's Strongest. That one's that one's pretty decent. I like that one. Uh a guy who who gets somewhat murdered. Uh Did you watch it? 
Oh, you did. Oh, my cultured brother right here. Oh, Justin, you just got you just gained so many points in respect from me, because not too many people know about that one. That's dope. <laughs> uh, oh, and he. Oh, that that's the that's the thing that's the thing about Ari Fuerta. Uh, Isekai, he he gets transported to another world. He dies. Uh, he's he's a blacksmith, right, or something. He, he he could change the form of things. He creates guns. He creates guns and missiles and and he's a gunslinger in a world of magic and it's dope as hell. <laughs> so I recommend that one. Ari Fuenta. Go go look it up. I think I think it's on Hulu. It might be. Actually, I do think it's on uh, Crunchyroll. Anyways, back to the questions. <laughs> uh, Noah E, have you seen the new line of Elite Force M4s? They are actually uh, good now and not Ares gearboxes. Which ones? Are you talking about the the ones that have the built-in uh, tracer unit? Because those are still Ares gearboxes, but they have made a lot of improvements, and those ones are sick. If there's another one, I, I, I need to go check them out. Um, uh, if I if I ordered last Friday, would it still count, Ramiro? Yes, yes, it would. So the cutoff time is uh, when do you when did you end this or when was the cutoff time last week, Isaiah? Good talk. He's not there, so it's from uh, Thursday night. Uh, the cutoff time f uh, from Thursday night when the name was called, uh, and uh, goes up until uh, tonight when the winners claim. That is the the window of of uh, entries that is counted. So if you ordered last Friday. Uh, you would be entered tonight. So that's what's up. But, hey, take advantage of the sales and stuff so you can maximize your chances to win. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It is what it is. You know, the, the, there's a the, here's the thing about it. There's a guaranteed winner tonight. Like, this is something new. I, I'd say we, we've been doing it for about a month or so now. And it's dope because you don't have to wait for someone, whatever. And if, you, and if uh, you're there attending... You get, you get a higher chance because especially tonight where it's gonna be a guaranteed winner, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call a winner or we're gonna call names until someone is here or attending the live stream to claim the prize. So, hop on it, okay? And it was eight thirty p.m. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, my boy. <coughs> and uh, Casper, I don't know if you noticed the the color in your name, but you got upgraded. Hello. <laughs> But yeah, guys. Uh, oh, also something that also that we were talking about um, earlier today with the boss man was me, Boaz, and Isaiah. We're actually talking about a few different things. As you guys know, we are trying to to increase uh, the catalog, if you will, of um, of uh, the male gang. Uh, airsoft guns and trying to get into accessories as well as, as you guys know um we are we are thinking about quite a few different things maybe a different brand it was lightly discussed but even offering like a polymer version of the mgc4 i think is super dope um yeah we're we're, we're constantly brainstorming and trying to uh to do that um but uh yeah i want to know what you guys think uh obviously we've been teasing the mark three for a minute now but um yeah we're we're just trying to brainstorm because you know we were talking about it earlier we airsoft the the, the type of players in airsoft there's kind of like a pyramid kind of like a pyramid at the at the bottom we have like the people who have their foot in the door uh, and the casual players, right? So what I mean by that is, like, people that, like, played a game of Airsoft. They rented a gun. Or they they learned about Airsoft and they own a Springer. Uh, and they, like, backyard plank. Or, you know, they, um, they go play casually. Honestly, I'd probably put the casual player right above, like, the baseline. They'd be, like, a section right above. Where they go maybe once a month or or every other weekend or you know just uh, multiple times throughout the year and they own their own airsoft gun and they have gear and stuff and then like that would be the next layer for me next after that would be the uh the casual mill simmer so they they are the uh airsofters that still play casually but then they'll go to 
uh, I don't want to say smaller events, but like n- uh, not events that are like extremely um, like intense. So maybe like a Lion Claws or um, uh, an American. Oh, Amer- American Mel Summit is a little bit deeper, but I'd say I'd put them at the top of this category. Um, but you know they they uh, they attend events casually and they still play um, uh, casual games. And then, like, at the top, it's, like, divided into two sections. There's, like, the hardcore mill simmers that go to the multiple-day straight events that play throughout the night. And then there's, like, the hardcore uh, speed QB community, right? So we want to um, – we were talking about, like, um, how we can make airsoft guns more accessible and break the stereotype of – of uh, like an entry level gun or a high end gun or a mid end gun, um, uh, in airsoft. So, what I mean by that is like, like for instance, like Lancer Tactical Gen Two and the Combat Machine. They're known. They're going to be like the go to beginner airsoft gun, right? They they play. Uh, you can take them to a field. You can go play. Honestly, you could take them to an event, but. Uh, depending on the event, will dictate a few things. But then there are uh, mid, mid, like mid-tier like mid guns, like the Lancer Tactical Gen 3, uh, that that really f- like fill a gap. They fill a huge gap because they easily an entry-level gun uh, in terms of price point, but they can compete with higher-end guns in terms of quality. And then there are the higher end guns, so you know, like what we talked about earlier, LCT, VFC, uh, the newer uh, high end G and G stuff that are like like built to the nines, like made to perform and be durable. And we're looking at at ways on how we could, uh, you know, make it so it's not as intimidating for people, or it it isn't a uh, there isn't a. Uh, like a title or a class specifically um, assigned to it. Like for instance, for me, I've gone to um, Milsom events where I've played with a combat machine and I've done perfectly fine. Yeah, I had a, a couple of upgrades, but nothing too crazy. Um, and then obviously there are days where I take a high-end airsoft gun to a casual day of play or I'm, I'm literally backyard plinking with it. So uh, it, it's very interesting. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know. Uh, oh, questions. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Luke says, do you guys know if the uh, the Jag Arms 4.3 GMX 3T is TM compatible? <clears throat> it is, but take that with a grain of salt. There may be some uh, fitment uh, that you need to do for the specific parts. Um, uh, I think when I upgraded one for uh, custom, I did have to... Um, uh, sand down some areas for uh, an aftermarket blowback housing to fit in. Um, other than that, everything else uh, fit in pretty smooth. Trigger, trigger bar, sear, uh, or not sear, the, the leaf spring, um, uh, the hop up unit, uh, like outer barrel stuff, that all drops in. That's pretty, pretty easy. But the blowback, the blowback housing was the one thing that. That needed a little bit of uh, uh, work to get it to sit properly, but after that, it's good. So I would absolutely agree with that. And then Hunna three K, I'm say three K. Is there a common reason my PXG nine motor and battery are heating up uh, sort of fast? Um, I mean, as you shoot the gun, it is going to heat up. If you're spamming the trigger super fast um, in semi-auto, uh, the act of braking will cause it to heat up more because uh, the way it works is there's a, there's a magnet sensor. As you pull the trigger and you uh, as you pull the trigger and the gun makes a cycle, um, it sends electricity to the motor to spin. And then uh, to get it to stop spinning, it sends another uh, another like jolt of electricity to stop the the gun from spinning in semi. So uh, that will 
that will cause the motor and the battery to heat up. That's uh, normal uh, for guns that have active braking, um, even for high-end MOSFETs. Uh, you will you will see that like if you build an airsoft gun with like a, a parent MOSFET or a gate MOSFET, um, if you have active braking on, that will um, uh, that will cause the motor to heat up. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Joseph said said uh, when when using my Lance Tactical Gen Three and my MGC Four Mark One, the motors get really hot when running a battery. Uh, is there anything that I can do to keep them cool? Yo, so uh, Joseph, same thing that I was talking uh, uh, to uh, Hannah about. Um, the active braking is is what uh, causes the motors to get really hot. Um, it's just a byproduct of shooting in semi auto um, or if especially with the Gen Three and and the MGC Four, if you're shooting in binary, if you're shooting in binary, God, that the motor gets hot so fast. Um, I mean, it's inevitable, inevitable for the motor to get hot. But I will say that um, make your shots count. Don't just be spamming at a target, especially if they're like in a bush or something. Um, Yes, it's good to keep their heads down, but uh, I mean, you're made to shoot the airsoft gun. Eventually, it'll get hot. Just give give the gun time to cool down, and uh, it gets more comfortable to hold. <laughs> oh, guys, there's only three minutes left of the stream, so make sure you enter the shopping spree giveaway right now at airsoftgi.com. You can have a chance to win the eleven hundred dollar prize pot. You see it right there. There's a guaranteed winner tonight. A guaranteed winner tonight, okay? You got to hop on it right now. Every order, $20 and up, will get you an entry tonight. But during the duration of the stream, which, again, ends in three minutes, every $50 you spend will get you five chances to win. So if you pick up an airsoft gun that's 150 bucks, that's 15 chances to win. If you have a... Uh, if you... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm hearing these guys talk. Uh, if you pick up the Platinum uh, Hot Releases Mystery Box right there, bing, bada, 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 boom, pow, you will get 15 chances to win, uh, even after the the stream ends, okay, because that's the promo for the Mystery Box. So there's two minutes left now. You guys got to hop on it while you can. Uh, Cryo uh, Jinx, or Jinx, oh, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Yes, we do ship to the UK. Um but take advantage right now, maximize your chances to win because Isaiah is going to be going live later today and you can be the guaranteed winner, okay? We're going to pull names, call names until we have a winner tonight. That's what's up. You don't want to miss out on that, okay? So hop on it while you can. Jaw said, can I run an 11-1 LiPo in the KWA Q10 even though it has no MOSFET? Uh, yes, absolutely. You can KWA, uh, is one of the first brands on record that it, that claimed that they were a level one ready out of the box. And here comes Boaz to interrupt. All KWA AGs are designed to take level one lipos period. Okay, there you go. See, so you could do that. <laughs> you can do that. No problem. And, uh, in for a while now, they've been including the switch life extender, which does, um, <clears throat> which does, uh, uh, increase the longevity of your airsoft gun electrically so you guys can hop on that uh cryo period get the fuck out of here <laughs> this is like a guy <laughs> this is like <a> glad <laughs> i hate you <laughs> you wasted my minute god damn it <laughs> but guys hop on right now and cryo uh uh genix uh, I appreciate you so damn much uh, for the love. We love you guys too. Uh, it's it's super dope uh, that that you want to shop with us uh, when you're in the UK. We absolutely love it. And yes, we do ship to the UK. Um, last question because guys, there's l like less than a minute left to hop on the promo again. Every fifty dollars you spend gets you five chances to win. So place an order right now before. Oh my God, it's five o'clock. I hope you guys got your orders in. I really do. If not, you can still pick up the hot plat uh, the platinum hot releases mystery box and still get fifteen chances to win. Okay, uh, but the last question of the stream, Black Rival, what red dot do you recommend uh, I should put on my Arcturus versatile ten inch? That's actually a fantastic question, and I will give you some options because we have quite the plethora of. 
He wants something very lightweight. Oh, got you. The T2 from Atlas Custom Works is super lightweight. I'm giving you some budget ones. The Atlas Custom Works L LCO is actually pretty hefty. Uh, it's great. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely great. But um, if we're looking for lightweight, that narrows it down a little bit more. RMR, baby. Yeah, I was going to say this Atlas Custom Works RMR is actually super sweet. Um, where's the black one of the FC1? The black FC1. Those ones sell so fast, FC1 and black. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there we go, FC1. So these are three that I would recommend that are lightweight that would work great for you. So Atlas Custom Works uh, T2 with the QD sync point. As you can see, the uh, the base is skeletonized, so it's removing uh, uh, any excess metal. Uh, it's, it's funny that... Uh, I'm recommending all Atlas Custom Works stuff. So uh, the X4 Solar Powered Mini Red Dot is super lightweight, super compact. Oh, yeah. The solar power is nice. Actually, yeah. And it comes with uh, the, um, kill the Kill Flash. Super dope. And it's uh, uh, RMR footprint. So if you want to get uh, something different uh, for uh, a riser, you definitely can. And the FC1, super tasty. Honestly, I got to give credit to Boaz because I think he coined this and, and it allowed companies to come out with it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Specifically. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I. Yeah. Not. Not. Not to. Not to toot my own horn, but there. There are a number of products where I just like. I see from overseas. I'm like, hey, those are selling overseas. Bring them. No. Yeah. Uh, Bo has to be on that bad boy. So, uh, I got to credit him for uh, Atlas Custom Works to come out with one. So. Those are a few that I recommend. But guys, again, you can still enter the shopping spree giveaway right now at airsoftgi.com. There's going to be a guaranteed winner, $1,100. We're going to call names until we find the winner tonight. You got to be there. You got to be there tonight to claim the prize because if you're not there, you're going to lose it. And again, we are guaranteeing a winner. So if someone's name is called and they miss out, you could be the next name called. Hell, you could be the first name called. But you won't know unless you're there, okay? Pick up the uh, the hot releases, hot picks mystery box, so you can get the latest and greatest uh, airsoft guns for $179.99 with 15 chances to win tonight. I appreciate you all so damn much. Uh, Black Rival, no worries, bro. We got you. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure, again, you tune in tonight for Isaiah's live stream. Uh, so you can claim your winnings. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Eat good food. Play airsoft. Spend time with friends, family, loved ones. And tune into the Shop Speak Away tonight, okay? I'll see you guys later. Is it our boys? Let us fight for democracy. I thought you, I thought you were going to say period again. <laughs>